sleeping with your wife. Pleasure and I'm better than you ever could. Read all about it. Now, we all know that Grand Theft Auto V and Grand Theft Auto as a whole, as a franchise, is a satire of modern America. But did you know north of the map of Grand Theft Auto V, at the base of Mount Chiliad, lies a location that references one of the biggest political movements in modern history, that being Occupy Wall Street. Occupy Wall Street was a nationwide protest in 2011 in reaction to the recession of 08 to 09. It was also a protest against the housing crisis, offshoring jobs, lobbying, income inequality, and capitalism as a whole. During the Occupy Wall Street protests in New York City, the Occupy protesters ended up creating an autonomous zone out of the park. The camp had its own open kitchen, hundreds of tents, and they even occupied a nearby library. This occupation went on for months. They would march across the city and would often end up having brawls of law enforcement. The occupation of Zuccotti Park quickly attracted homeless people and drug addicts to the camp, quickly making Zuccotti Park a dangerous and unsanitary place. And women had to end up making a female-only zone to prevent sexual assault from the other occupiers in the autonomous zone. This soon led to the NYPD handing out eviction notices to the occupiers at the park and forcing occupiers to disperse from the park in November of 2011. After the occupiers were removed in Zuccotti Park, the nationwide protests died down for the most part. Although the Occupy Wall Street protests may have died down throughout the country, the Occupy movement was a major catalyst for future left-wing protests in the United States. All over America, there's camps just like this that operate as communes. Communes are usually when a large group of people are living together on a piece of land and they share responsibilities on upkeeping the commune and they also share property as well. Dignity Village in GTA 5 is based off of a real life location in Portland, Oregon with the same name. Now this location in GTA isn't just a hippie camp or a homeless camp like the hippie camp in Sandy Shores or the homeless camp in Mission Row. This is a camp that's populated by activists. This is a given due to the murals and the signs of the camp having anti-capitalist slogans. There's also a side mission given to you as Trevor by Maud where you have to capture a bounty in Dignity Village. The bounty you have to capture in Dignity Village is named Christopher Weaver, who expresses in the mission his protest in Liberty City in the Exchange District. And he lives in Dignity Village as a way to protest against capitalism. You gonna play nice now, Granddad? I'd rather die fighting than surrender to the hypocritical laws of your... ...or oppressive regime. Uh, although you did, in fact, surrender. I took a stance, didn't I? Stared the bully in the face, then backed down at the last minute. That's how activism works. Not that I'd expect a mindless drone of a nanny state like you to understand. Whatever. You know, I never realized hobos were so well armed. I'm not a hobo. I've made a conscious decision to reject the capitalist society. By living in a hobo camp. It's a lifestyle choice, you government stooge. And have you looked in the mirror recently? This discrimination disgusts me. I only just got out of jail for that sit-in protest outside the exchange in Liberty City. Such a sense of the power of group action until we all turned on each other. Hmm. What are they trying to send you down for now? I didn't pay much attention to your file. Of course you didn't. I assaulted a cop at an anti-globalization rally, beat him up with a fire extinguisher, and I'd do it again. Screw the police. Nothing but mindless stoolies of the totalitarian regime. You're preaching to the choir, Pops. What? You're worse than they are. A paid thug of a corrupt legal system rounding up agitators for the ruling autocracy? A puppet on a power trip. I just wonder who's got their hand up your ass. Whoa! Hold on there, socialist Santa. If you want an anarchy off, I will take you down any day. I wreak indiscriminate mayhem on an hourly basis. And secondly, no one has a hand up my ass. Would you like to look? Listen, nobody's more anti-establishment than me, old man. I hate authority, so watch. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Hired men of the dictatorship. I believe the occupiers in Dignity Village are squatting on somebody's property. And the property itself is like a vacation home that the occupiers took over to squat at and create their commune at. Now that's just my little history lesson behind Dignity Village and the real life, uh, real world, uh, I guess you could say history around it. Now I really hope you guys went on to enjoy this video, and if you did, a like and comment would be appreciated. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, we're on the road to a thousand subscribers, and I really hope to meet that milestone by the end of this year. So with all that out of the way, 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.